What is going on guys? Touchdowns to home run and we're back with another what ifs episode and now you might be asking what is a what ifs episode? Now last time we did what if the Super Bowl was a best of three series? Basically a what if episode is just where we take this crazy idea and just I discuss my opinion and what I think what would happen if this scenario actually happened. So let's take a look at what we have for today's. Okay, so now obviously the most dominant team in all of sports the last like five years is obviously been the Golden State Warriors. They have four All-Stars on their team, well five now because they got the Marcus Cousins and they've just been dominating the NBA for so long. And so for today's What If episode, we're going to be discussing what if the 2015 Warriors didn't happen. So let's say the Warriors aren't even in the league. There's no such thing as the Golden State Warriors in 2015. Now, I say in the 2015 season, if there's no Golden State Warriors, that the Cavs would end up uh, winning the NBA championship, beating the Rockets out, who was the runner-up in the Western Conference Finals, uh, just because like the Cavs were good that year, but they just couldn't match up to Golden State. And I, like, the Cavs were clearly the second-best team in the, in the league, so without Golden State in there, I'd say the Cavs would win. Again, in 2016, I had the Cavs winning two back-to-back -back championships. And in this one over the Thunder, because the Thunder were so good this year, uh, that year, they almost had it against the Warriors, too. They blew a 3-1 to -one lead, Durant and Westbrook. And this was when Durant was still back on the Thunder. So I had the Cavs winning that one. Now, here's where it starts getting interesting. After the 2016 season, we all know that Kevin Durant left um, the Oklahoma City Warrior, Oklahoma City Thunder and Russell Westbrook and left them for Golden State. But there is no Golden State anymore. So where does he go? Now, he's looking at a team that if he went to Golden State, he was looking at a team with good players that he could win a championship with. And there's no team that screams that better in tw after 2016 with good players that he can actually be the star player on the team because he probably wants to be the head of the team and not go to the Cavs with LeBron. So this is where I'm getting crazy. So this is just my opinion, but the 20, after 2016 season, Durant actually signs with the Toronto Raptors. Uh, that's just, they were so, they imagine that, Durant, DeRozan, Lowry, um, Durant's good friends with Drake, so he'd be there all the time. And the city of Toronto would love him. They would be guaranteed championships. They basically turn into the Warriors. So I have them, uh, Durant, going to the Raptors in 2017. And then in the 2017 season, I have the Raptors beating the Spurs in the uh, 2017 NBA championship. Uh, just like the Raptors would be so much better than the Cavs. I think the Cavs only went 4-1 and one against the Warriors. And these guys are basically the Warriors. You got Durant, DeRozan still, Lowry, Valanciunas. That's just, it's not the Golden State Warriors, but it's its a pretty much a close team to them. And then I had said I had them over the Spurs, because the Spurs were the runner-up to Golden State in the Western Conference. And then in 2018, I actually had the Houston Rockets over the Raptors. Uh, the Rockets last year were just so good. Like, they almost beat out the Warriors. They forced them to Game 7. And just, like, if that was against the Warriors, and these guys, like the Raptors, they wouldn't have the Steph Curry. They wouldn't have Klay Thompson and Draymond. Like, they had DeRozan and Lowry, too. But I don't think those two match up to, like, Curry, Durant. I mean, Curry, Thompson, and Draymond. So I actually like the 2016 season. The season the Cavs beat out the Warriors who the Warriors were the superstar team so I had the Rockets beating out the Raptors in the 2018 season if the 2015 Warriors didn't happen and then in 2019 so this year who would I have of course Durant's still on the Raptors with De DeRozan and Lowry I don't think that Kawhi comes because he would want to go to a team that um he could be the star player on, and the Raptors already have, um, they already have Durant, so there's no really need for Kawhi. So in 2019, I had the Raptors 
winning their second championship in three years over the Denver Nuggets. Uh, just Denver. If there's no Golden State right now, Denver is the clear favorite, maybe even in the NBA. Um, like them and Milwaukee right now if there's gold, no Golden State. So, yeah, that's why I have the Nuggets. So that's my crazy outline and timeline of predictions if the 2015 Warriors didn't happen. So this is if there's no Golden State Warriors at all. If Steph Curry is not a player, if Draymond Green is not a player, if Klay Thompson is not a player, if Andre Iguodala is not a player, and just all those other guys on the team, if they're not playing basketball, this is and there's no Golden State Warriors, this is, in my opinion, what would happen in the NBA. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like sports content, subscribe, like, and comment any other ideas, crazy what-if statements that I could talk about on this channel. And yeah, just come back next time, and I'll see you again.